that be cool? Okay, guys. So today we're going to finish building our uh, our smart pot trough. Um, could not find the one by six boards, but we did find some one by four boards. So we had to kind of kind of roll with the punches, so to so to speak. You know, kind of go based off of that. Um, so hopefully this will work. Like I said, my buddy, he's 80 years old and he doesn't, he, he cuts, you know, wood with another gentleman who is uh, probably close to his age. And uh, the other gentleman, he had some issues and has not been able to cut any wood and probably won't be able to cut until next spring. And so we can't let this wait till then. Hang on one second. And so uh, we can't let it wait till then. So we're going to have to uh, you know, move and uh, and do it uh, now. And we'll have to use our one by fours. And so that's what we're going to do. So um, we're going to take and uh, use these one by fours. Going to do the best we can with what we got. I think it'll be good enough. Um, so let me go get some of the equipment we're going to need. We're going to need saw. Uh, we're going to need hammer, nails, screwdriver, or not screwdriver, uh, drill, screws, and uh, hopefully we can get this put up the right way. You're going to need tape measure as well. So, you go grab that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, bring me my ladder, Jaden, please. Ladder? Yes, Jaden, ladder. All right, so just kind of looking here. I got my compost already here. We'll fill the bag up with here in a minute. It'll be a little bit hard to do with everybody driving by this evening. So, uh, but anyhow, um, come off of there pine tree and we'll come straight to this board or close to it try to run it down that way best we can that's how we're going to do it thank you i'm oh, sorry didn't mean to smash your fingers all right so let me see here first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a couple of these here together Longest ones first, I think, is what we'll start with. Get some of the longest ones we've got here. Drag them out right here like so. Okay. Hopefully that Let's works. see here. Now, I'll hold it, you screw, okay? <laughs> okay. Hold it right there. I'm going to help you hold it. There's one. Good job. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. Two. Yeah. 
over and get one more. And that should be good for here. Okay. Got that. Now. Let's see. It's okay. Grass will be all right. It won't hurt nothing. Let me see here. Well, it's a little hard to explain to you, but we're going to make a trough like that. Uh, hang on a minute. Just stay away from it. I don't want you to get hurt. And then we have to continue on with this thing. So probably should go on ahead and get this figured out right here so we can continue on with it that way. And we'll put it over there first. So what I'm thinking is do just like this right here, like that. Well, or something like this, right here. Hmm? I'm trying to be. All right. Bring me them screws and that screw and that thing over there. The drill and a, and a screw. No, nope, wrong screw. Sorry, give me one of the golden ones. No, nope, too long, too long, too long. Give me a short one. Thank you. It'll work. Thank you, honey. Oh, man. I don't know. Bring me another one. Bring me a, another same kind. Yep, good job. But kind of a little bit. Yep. Huh? No. Yeah. Give me my tape measure. Put them back up. Don't be touching stuff, Kira. It's right there. Of 
12 foot. Oh, crap. Now I need 12 more foot. No, almost 12 more foot. I need 10 more foot. Should be back there somewhere. Here. Piece of crap. Hmm. Not right now. I'm gonna try to put a screw right here to stop it from sliding anymore until I can get the next part of it done. Bring me that big long screw you had. Big long gold one. Thank you, man. That's what we do. Don't get around that. Okay, because it can hurt you. Don't want you over there, but. Okay. Yeah, I can like it's a den. That's what I said, a den. Okay, got that there. All right, now. Hmm. So I know it's 12 foot. So now do I build a trough the rest of the way? Come here and hold it right here, Cure Bear. Hold it right there. Right here. Yeah, it ain't gonna go nowhere. Hold it right there. Okay. Seven foot, nine foot, ten foot. Has to come right here. It'll be 22 foot long. Well. Huh? Raise what bar? No. Do me a favor. Come hold this right here. Just like this. I'm going to put a screw behind you and hold that it one in. It's just going to have to be what it is because I don't have everything I need and it'll be fine. It'll be alright. 
it just needs, it's, I mean, by the time it gets down there that long, it's not going to be, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be full. You know what I mean? You might have three or four foot of a big carrot, about that big, and then they just like drastically taper off to like, you know. Yeah, that's just to be open. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, there's no way around that. I think you can let it go, see what it does. Okay, no, not yet. All right, keep it there. Uh, let me see. Um, scraps. What do you want when you look like it, Val? What do you want when you look like it, Valkyrie? Huh? All poop. Changed it for one nail. Or one screw, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. While we do this, we'll put y'all on time lapse because this is going to be quite the process. I've seen that. <laughs> Silly, you okay? <laughs> guys so we've got it filled up there all 22 foot now we've got to uh go look at some options that i have of carrots and uh, and then plant it in there so i'm gonna go see what kind of carrots i got and uh we'll be right back with one of them to transplant into this okay guys this one right here is the one we're gonna go with we've gotten eat back a little bit by something I'm not really sure what um but something has eaten on it it was the one that i had in the cardboard all summer long these roots had just touched the sand and they had stopped right at the sand level so they're really good i'll have annie zoom in here real quick you guys can see there's three really nice long orange leaders here that uh are really nice looking roots right there there's two of them one there one there and then there's a couple other ones up in there. One right here on this side. So there's, oh, there's actually four more over here. So there's five long leaders. So that'll be good. So we're going to transplant this one in there as the first option. And hopefully it'll take. We also have this option here that we pulled out of the, uh, the little wooden row box, whatever it's called there on the porch, um, from Yardcraft. Uh, this one had not reached the center yet, but we have got some good long leaders there. I don't like the knot that it's got there, but the leaders are nice and long. 
So we're gonna plant both of these in there. This one will be first, and this one will just kind of be a backup. If everything looks good in a month, I will chop top on this one completely and kill it. And, uh, and then this one will take off and grow. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it. We'll plant them over here. This is a good mix of compost and uh, and sand. All right, so everything's nice and, and mixed up good. Got a nice long, we have to dump some of that out there, I guess. Make sure we get it fit in there nice and don't want to get it too tight and, and bunch them roots up. I want to leave them long and in there. So let's remove some of this. Make sure we got enough here. Yep. All right, so there's that. I'll take and fill in around it. Well, actually, here, let me go ahead and stick this one in there too. And uh, we'll just fill in around both of them there. Yeah, we will. Hang on, just give me one second. Okay, there we go. All right, now we'll just fill in there. Sand and compost. Sand and compost, that's the mixture you want. You don't want to layer the sand or the compost. You want a good mix between both of them. Sand and compost, you know, probably about, uh, I'd say, uh, 40% sand, 60% compost is a pretty good mix, I think. Anyhow, um, let me just kind of gently raise them up there a little bit and then kind of like let it sit in there like that. That way they, okay. Now we just need to raise it up just a hair. All right, so now there's that. Now, yeah, you want me to do all that and then you can hold this up and I'll do all that. Yeah, I told you, why don't you come here and hold this and I'll do it. If you made that as long as that, it's not as long as it. It's short by a couple feet. <sighs> yep. Okay. Oh boy. Well, it's all right if it's way short there. I don't need to be all the way up there trying to water it anyhow. So it's okay. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Now I need uh zip ties no need to force me Oh boy, I about fell backwards, that's what's wrong. <laughs> I'll put my smart pot sign over here and build me another sign that says world's longest carrot. 
by here. And we're going to we'll grow the world's longest carrot, y'all. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. I'm excited. Let's get it done, y'all. Come on. All right, there's that. Let me just kind of shimmy this in there like that. I'm going to take and straighten this out some. Just like so. It just needs to just needs to be able to crawl that last two foot right there. I think we got it going on, y'all. Guys, we want to give a special thanks to Smart Pots for this wonderful, long, world world record breaking Smart Pot. Brought to you by Smart Pots. Guys, without them, we could not be growing as successful as we are. They are one of our many great uh, affiliates, uh, and we love dealing with them. They're a great company. Highly encourage you guys to go check out Smart Pots today, smartpots.com. You guys can get a lot of great things for your growing hobbies, whether you're giant growing, growing vegetable gardens, flowers, whatever it is, you can find it there at smartpots.com with lots of co cool things. And uh, who knows, maybe even you, maybe even you could break the next world record in a smart pot. I'm gonna get me a, I'm gonna get me a sign, put my smart pot sign here. And put me a world record long carrot right there, a uh, sign, and uh, we're going to try to grow it between now and next summer. Let's see what it'll do. I'm pretty excited, so we're going to water it in. Uh, watering's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to water the trough. Trough's going to run down into the into the uh, bag, and it'll suck up all the way along the way through there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So guys, we appreciate you watching. Got any questions, comments, concerns? Always comment below. What you think about this? Do you think it's going to work? I really had no other options to go with around here. This is pretty much the only place we could do it at. Uh, and so I think it's going to work. I'm excited to see how it's going to work. We already got, what, about a foot or so worth of carrot. So we only got to go another 20 foot to break the world record, guys. We already got a foot. We only need another 20 foot, and we'll break that world record. I really think next year... I think we're going to see something pretty cool. I, I could be wrong, could be totally wrong, but I think what we're going to see is come June next season, we're going to be able to cut this bag open and we're going to find a carrot down here at the bottom of this bag. And if we find any roots, any roots whatsoever at the bottom of this bag, guess what guys? All I got to do is snip the end of that and open it up and the first roots there, we have got a world record. We only need the roots to be at the end of that and we'll have a world record. So guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills, West Virginia. See y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Don't get the there. Good job. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the there. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.